Go. Hi, I'm Peter Carney from City Food Growers, stockcom.au. It's a beautiful uh, winter's afternoon here in southeast Queensland, and I'm standing in front of uh, a small patch of broad beans, which are a beautiful crop to grow in many parts of the world and in our subtropical climate here they grow really well in winter. In more temperate zones they'll grow more as a end of winter to spring crop. Uh, they take quite some time to grow. We're going to have a little bit of noise from our road next to our block here so sorry about the noise. I'll speak as loudly as I can. Okay, these broad beans here grow to, they normally grow to about one and a half meters high and out of one seed uh, a whole lot of shoots come out like this. And you can see on this one the beans are hanging off the, sh off the stalk. So one of these stalks may end up having possibly 30 30 beans, 30 or 40 beans, and each plant could have up to up to 10 of these stalks. So you can get a lot of bean, broad beans off uh, off one plant. In this patch here, there's uh, I'd say there'd be probably 20 plants. So it's a really compact uh, it's a compact vegetable to grow. And we've actually grown vegetables underneath this as well because this is quite a sunny spot in this garden. So we've had uh, pumpkins growing underneath these. There's some greens. We've had some bean, other bush beans growing under them as well because they tend to grow up um, you know, quite high. And certainly, uh, I mean, some people feel that you need to stake uh, bush bean, uh, um, broad beans. Uh, I've never needed to stake them. I think as long as they're quite healthy and see, they have fairly thick, thick stalks. So a healthy broad bean uh, will stand up perfectly on its own. And these white flowers that are on the the plant have a really beautiful smell. So. They're quite an attractive plant for a garden. They, they're compact. You get a lot of food out of them because really they're growing in the air. They don't need a lot of land area. So um, with the, uh, the soil preparation for a broad bean, you need reasonable soil there. They're a legume. I mean, they don't need super rich soil to grow. Um, they're quite slow growing like these plants would have been in now for three months so they're fairly slow to grow say compared to other bean plants like uh, French beans you know, bush beans climbing beans which grow and fruit within four to six weeks these these plants will take um, you know at least eight weeks before they fruit and so here these beans I've harvested one here and often people leave the pods to dry on the plant so that you end up with a, a hard dried dried bean and they're, they're then reconstituted in, uh, in cooking great in soups and stews and that sort of thing to be honest I find the bean when it's green like this uh, much sweeter um, so take it out of the pod and peel peel this layer off it and tastes great very sweet so in this pod there's one two three four five beans beautiful plant right so so again with that soil you know it doesn't have to be fabulous soil it will help to improve the soil over time because it's a legume uh, 
it needs good water when it's going into its fruiting stage um, and it likes plenty of sun it really doesn't seem to get attacked by much uh, <coughs> um, and it's a really healthy plant to grow in a sense in your garden because you're uh, you, you can get a great crop out of them. <laughs> this spot where we're uh, we're talking, friends are driving past all the time, seeing me do a movie. Um, yeah, wonderful plant to grow for a vegetable garden. And broad beans are often grown on a broad acre basis, uh, in very large volumes. And, and I think. Uh, in a smallish vegetable garden like this one, which is a circular garden of about uh, uh, 10 metres in diameter and it has five beds. And this, this uh, broad bean patch is at, at the end of the circle, the lower side, so it's getting quite nice moisture. It's slightly down the slope. Um, it, it works really well. so. So in your small vegetable garden, whatever its size, you may only have space for one of these, or if you've got a big area, you could put a lot of them in, and they kind of look after themselves. Um, so, say compared to a plant like tomatoes, you know, which, uh, you know, tomatoes can be very sensitive to a lot of diseases. Uh, cucumbers, zucchinis, great to grow. They're often quite sensitive to mould if you overwater them. These plants, you don't get much of that issue at all. So, quite robust plants to grow. There's a lot more information on growing these broad beans in our uh, Organic Gardener subscriber website at cityfoodgrowers.com.au, and that will also the site will also tell you exactly when. The, high, the ideal time is to plant them in your, uh, in your climate for all of Australia, the USA, New Zealand and the UK. So enjoy growing your broad beans and harvesting them and having them in your salad or dry, waiting till they dry and putting them into your soups and stews. Thank you.